said, look, you don't have to know anything beforehand. Like you don't have to be, there's no like prerequisites or you know, like you have to be level one and then you know, this level. It's like, you just can come as you are, and just show up as you are and there's no right way to do it and you're not gonna get graded. You don't have to have any background with it. You don't have to have any knowledge. You just come and discover and tap into the vibe because that's really what it's about is the movement of the energy. And it's contagious. It, the body knows what to do. So just let the body do it. I met a friend who said, well, let's, let's do this. And uh, I'll meet you there on Sunday for, I think it was Sunday church, right? Ecstatic dance church. And um, I came, I was super nervous. I was sweating. My ears were probably bright red and uh, something really amazing happened. Um, something opened up inside of me where I was able to connect with my inner child. dance was where it was at not the dance itself but what I was finding through the dance um, was powerful and it helped me step through a fear of judgment that I had for myself So I, most people have an experience of going to a party and just letting loose. And so that's, this is a conscious version of that. You know, you're coming to it on purpose uh, with intention, uh, and, but you're still moving and breathing and, you know, going to those places. It's, it seems more powerful when everyone around you is all also like, yeah, you know, we're all, trying to help each other get somewhere, I suppose. I don't know. So, I think I've been dancing since I was little. Like, I've always loved dancing. And I would always be the one, like, at a wedding or, like, at a party to be the one, like, on the dance floor until, like, the last, last call. <laughs> Um, but I think I never met like other people who liked it as much as I did. I love to dance, but being in the, the whole competitive world kind of killed my love for it and I ended up quitting and then found ecstatic dance, you know, 20 years later. And I didn't discover until I think I was like 24 or something that ecstatic dance existed.
it was, yeah, one of the first times in my life I felt like I actually got to play and express because, you know, growing up with so much like trauma and dysfunction, I didn't really get to play. When I dance, I get to feel like I'm like with my tribe and I, get to, I feel seen and I feel understood. Finding the dance has affected me by just giving me my heart and myself and my body, feeling my body. And it's also affected me by connecting me to my body but also to the earth, just knowing I'm here on the earth and realizing my love and devotion of myself and of the earth. And it's just given me peace and calmness <laughs> and quietness of my mind. <laughs> and I, re I got like access to like a true ecstasy in my body that I'd always been looking for in drugs or drink or relationships. And once I accessed that, it was like I didn't need any of that anymore. So it changed my whole world. It's like, uh, for me in the dance, we move beyond uh, this three-dimensional space that we live. We are always st striving to move out. So we drink, we take drugs, we have sex, we do arts, a lot of things kind of uh, try. With the dance, we go there. It's like what, you, what you've what you been looking for but don't even know that you might have been looking for um, and it does require you to let go of all that mind stuff that tries to stop you. And there's so many things that it's done for me that I feel that authentic movement could do for lots of people, uh, specifically this kind of dance. Uh, it's it's uh, contagious, so hopefully it'll grow the movement and attract because it's all about healing, you know. Once we get good with ourselves, we make the planet a better place. Mm -hmm.